Hello everyone, this is Zach. Today, I'll be talking to you about data cleaning. The first function that we are going to cover is the parse number function. Basically, this function is good at converting characters to numbers, and it handles strange cases better than the as.numeric function. For example, in real life, often numbers may have, for example, the dollar symbol for numbers which represent an amount of money, let's say a thousand dollars. So let's run the tidy, load the tidyverse, and if you try to parse dollar one thousand parse number dollar one thousand you get one thousand good and sometimes we also separate numbers uh, with commas uh, to indicate for example to thousands parts so this is twelve thousand three hundred and forty five and sixty seven so parse number is also able to um, to understand that the com what the commas mean like so if you compare as numeric, you just get NAs because as numeric is not able to handle the dollar symbol or the commas. The next function that we will talk about is the recode function, which allows you to map one value to a new value. For example, D to durian. So this works for vectors. So for example, the vector x is a, b, c, d. If you want to change a to apple and d to durian, this is how you do it. Uh, you can also record numbers, uh, but in that case you may need to use backticks. Uh, if you're recording a number to an integer, then you have to use L. L makes a numbered integer. So, for example, class 20 is numeric, but class 20L is integer. So, recode using the back ticks or back quotes changes the 2 to 20 and the 4 to 40. <coughs> Finally, you can also record columns of a data frame. For example, sometimes uh, data has numbers which represent levels. For example, income levels in this case. So, uh, in this case, there are three income groups, one, two, and three. But let's say you know that Income group 1 means income is less than 20,000. Income group 2 means 20 to 50,000. And income group 3 means more than 50,000. Then this is how you would change the variable using mutate and then recode. So now, uh, Adam's income group has changed from 2 to 20 to 50,000, which is what we want. All right. The next function is the distinct function, which keeps only unique or distinct rows from a data frame and deletes any duplicate rows. For example, this is the favorite colors data frame, which looks like this. Right, so you have four people and their favorite colors. You can chain, see how many distinct or unique colors there are by first selecting the colors column. So this code basically only selects the columns, the column color, and then adding a distinct keeps only the distinct colors. So notice that Pink is repeated twice because pink is a very popular favorite color. Using distinct keeps pink only once. So there are only three colors that were people's favorite colors. Uh, 
Uh, lastly, we'll talk about the replace NA function, which replaces any missing values with in a column with a specified value. So let's show an example. So this data frame has two columns, x and y, and x has a missing value and y also has a missing value. So if you want to replace the missing values in x with 0 and the missing values in y with unknown, this is how you do it. You say replace NA and you supply a list with x with the column, first column x as 0, replace NA's in x by 0 and replace NA's in y by unknown. Once you do that, you see the output and it has done what we expected. Any zeros, any NAs are in X are replaced by zero, and any NAs in Y are replaced by unknown. All right, so we're done. That's all for today. See you next time. Bye.